Hey everyone, my name is Caroline, and in this video, I'm going to talk about video creation on Flow versus Gemini using something called Vio. If you're diving into the great world of AI video generation, you've probably heard about Vio, Vio3, Vio2, Google's powerful new video creation model. But what you might not know is how you access Vio can dramatically change your entire workflow, your output, and even how many videos you can create. Today, we're doing a direct comparison of using Vio through two different ways, Google's own Gemini platform versus Flow. I've been testing both, and there are five critical differences you need to know about before you start your next project. Now let's get started. First up, and this is a big one, how many videos can you actually make? With Gemini, the access model is kind of straightforward, kind of restrictive. In my experience, I found that they limit me to creating six videos every 24 hours. Once you hit that limit, you're done for the day. It doesn't matter how simple or complex your prompts are. For a quick test, that's fine. But if you're in a creative sprint, you'll hit that six video wall very quickly. Flow, on the other hand, operates on a credit system. You get a certain number of credits per month based on your subscription. Each video generation consumes some of those credits. The good news, if you have the credits, you can generate well over six videos in a single day. You can work on a big project, knock it out all at once. Once you burn through your monthly credits on Flow, you'll have to wait for them to reset for the next month or purchase more if that's an option. Gemini is a daily limit. With Flow, it's a monthly one. Difference number two is all about workflow and organization. When you're creating videos in Gemini, every generation is essentially its own separate chat. If you want to create five different scenes for one story, that's five separate disconnected chats you have to manage. It can get messy very fast, and going back to find a specific generation from a week ago means scrolling through your entire chat history. And then you should also rename your chats. That's another little tip I should drop in there while we're talking here. Flow is built for creators and addresses this directly. They have something called projects. It allows you to group your video generations into specific projects. So all the scenes, reference images, and variations for your summer ad campaign, for example, can live in one project. This is a huge quality of life improvement for anyone doing something series, multi-part video work. I like projects. Number three, the third difference is about what's under the hood. When you generate a video in Gemini, you are using VO3. That's it. It's the latest and greatest at the time of this recording, but you get no other choice. Flow gives you options. You can choose to generate with either VO2 or what they call VO3 fast. This choice is important because maybe you're just storyboarding and you need some quick, cheap results. VO2 might be perfect. It uses less credits. Or you need something of higher quality, VO3. Having that choice allows you to manage your credits and your time more effectively. Gemini is one size fits all. Flows lets you pick the right tool for that specific request. Now, for what might be the single biggest difference for anyone trying to tell a story, character consistency. If you're using Gemini, get ready for a new cast of characters in every shot. Even if you use the exact same prompt describing a person, Gemini will generate a new, different looking person each time. Creating a sequence where the same character walks through a door is basically impossible right now with Gemini. Even if you are on the same thread and you say, hey, um, give me the same video, but just change this one little thing, it's going to generate a whole new video. This is where Flow has a massive advantage. It supports continuous characters. You can upload a reference photo or describe a character, lock them in, and use that same character across multiple generations in a single project. This is a complete game changer for creative narratives, short films, or any content that requires a recognizable subject. Number five. Finally, let's talk about creating for social media, specifically vertical videos for reels, shorts, TikToks, everything. This is a really interesting difference. Let's say you upload a vertical reference image. On Flow, it will produce a standard 16 by 9 landscape video, but it places vertical content right in the middle with black 
bars on either side. This is actually perfect. You can import this file into Final Cut Pro or your editor of choice, crop it into a nine by 16 vertical aspect ratio, and you have a clean vertical video. Gemini tries to be a little too helpful. It also produces a landscape video, but instead of simple black bars, it uses AI to generate graphics, to extend the screen on the sides. While that might look cool, it does make it impossible to crop it into a clean vertical video. You're stuck with those weird AI generated side panels, or you've got to do some panning or whatever. For vertical video content creators, flow is critical. And being able to crop those black bars out is critical. Now let's talk about something that Flo and Gemini have in common, but it's not a good thing. <laughs> it's really annoying. For all those differences, there is one area where they're exactly alike, and frankly, it's annoying on both platforms. I'm talking about captions. Both Gemini and Flo have a tendency to add burned in text or captions to video, and the spelling is often completely wrong. The frustrating part is that even if you explicitly write no captions, no text on screen in your prompt, they can show up anyway. It's just kind of random. It's an issue with the base model. Model. So it's something you'll have to fight no matter which platform you use. Hopefully they're going to fix this by the time you watch this video and it won't even be a problem for you. To wrap it all up, if you're a casual user who just wants to make a few quick experimental videos and you don't want to think about it too much, don't want to worry about your credits, Gemini is the best. It's a simple, easy entry point. But if you're a serious content creator and you need to make videos that are longer than eight seconds and you need the same character to do something, Flow is certainly the better choice right now. The project organization, character consistency, model selection, and practical handling of vertical video make it a much more professional tool. Which one are you using? Have you found any other differences? I'm sure you have. Let me know in the comments. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more deep dives into AI tools for creator and hit that notification bell so you won't miss the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.